which is uh, Robin Grigg representing the Clearwater Residents Owners uh, Society. Is Cherie not here? Hmm? Is Cherie not here? No, I just said that she's not coming and we're okay. submitting. Sorry. She, sorry. she asked for a written one to be sorry. circulated sorry, and that's being circulated Apologies. now. So that we're on to page uh, 1,018. Welcome. Thank you, Madam Mayor, uh, councillors. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. Um, you received two submissions from Clearwater Resident Owners Society, one from myself, Robin Gregg, and one from Jane Cameron. Unfortunately, Jane has to be in Auckland this weekend, so you've got me. Um, I'm a member of the management committee. I also um, have a number of years experience as chairman of one of the ECANS river rating districts. So this is when it comes to talking rivers. Um, I'm aware that I've only got 10 minutes, uh, so I'll be under the whip to use the uh, racing phrase. So let's uh, get on with the race. Um, yes. What we, our concern is with totally agree. the Oto Kaikino stream, which is blocked up. Um, sorry, I've got a pointer on here, but it doesn't seem to be on the screen. Anyway, to your mid right, you can see the lakes and so forth of the um, groins. It's just that little there. Sorry? It's just the. Yeah, it's just up there right now. It is there now. Thank you. You have the, the groins here. This is a very old um, aerial photo. The Clearwater development is in here. Why I've used this is this area hatched in along the waterways is where the, the blockage is occurring from here, which is the... Sorry, back one. Here, where the um, Clearwater uh, Avenue comes through, from here up and along to here, 600 metres, the river has blocked. Um, it's been a circular research for me to find out who's responsible for that area. It eventually comes back to the City Council being responsible as signatories to the waterway management caring for the Otu Kaikino. Um, it's an unusual agreement, I'll grant you, but there it is. The problem is that the stream is choking up. Here you're looking at the main stem of the stream with the willows that have fallen into it, which has now been added to with grey willow, which is increasing the problem. Uh, the grey willow is this one here. The crack willow is the, the one above, which has had the effect of, of flooding the walkway. Your Otakaikino walkway um, this is one of the pegs of it, runs along through this swamp or swampy area. The swampy area is also filling up with the grey willow, which is a quite a significant weed. I've included on the back of the submission um, papers on both Old Man's Beard and Grey Willow to bring you up to speed with them. Also Old Man's Beard, as I mentioned, we have struck that in the Ashburton River Rating District, which I'm chairman of. It's costing us tens of thousands of dollars a year to clear out. It has the habit of 
smothering any trees that it gets a hold of. This is in the stretch of the Otakai Kino above the groins. This will move into the groins if it's not dealt with and then you'll virtually be into clearance regime of most of the, the areas along the Otakai Kino in the groins. That's that. Right, to speak on. Um, so that's the flooding. I've introduced the problem, which is that the Otakaikino track is effectively severed now by that flooded section. There is a, an informal detour in place at the moment through the clear waters um, res, um, residential area using a private way and a private bridge that obviously cannot continue too long because we run the risk that particularly cyclists are likely to have a a painful interaction with cars if we're not careful. So, um, as I said, the responsibility eventually sheets back to the City Council under the terms of this waterways management caring for the Otakaikino. Uh, the proposed solution, um, we would ask that for this year's budget, the Council should set aside funding to catch up with the maintenance requirements the Council has under that agreement. Provision should also be made for a share in the cost of unblocking the Otukaikino stream, and it would be very much in the Council's interest to clear the small infestations of Old Man's Beard in the Otukaikino stream before they become intractable. Um, so the requested action is that provision be made to the Council's annual plan to fund maintenance as part of its responsibilities under the Otakaikino plan. Secondly, that provision be made to fund a control for old man's beard in the Otakaikino. And then we come on, and this will not be in this year's plan, but obviously needs to be put into the longer term plan is funding to sort out this flooding uh, due to the willows having blocked the Otakaikino stream. That's my presentation. Hopefully it's left time for questions. When the um, clear water uh, maintenance obligation stopped, what year do you remember? 2007, 2007 was when it finally vested it in the City Council. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Would you be open to a, a partnership on this? And I'm thinking this regard uh, to uh, the Horseshoe Lake uh, area. There is a, a group there that clears old man's bed, other uh, usances as well, uh, on a monthly basis. I think it has some support from the council. There's some good links in there. Is that something you'd, you know, you'd be supportive of? I'm not trying to no, no, move we, away from council responsibility, but no. Uh, certainly, uh, we do have a tradition at Clearwater of turning out and uh, sorting things out. There's uh, a twenty thousand dollar project at the moment to develop or to form up a uh, reserve within the uh, residential area, so, yep, we d are in the habit of it. I'm just, I'm having difficulty finding the, I mean, I'm sort of kind of Googling at the same time, trying to find yeah. the actual um, thing, and what, what I've found is um, a, a story dating back to 2016, one of Christchurch's last remaining wetlands, um, the Otu Kaikino near Belfast is being restored to a self-sustaining ecosystem thanks to $212,000 of funding from the Christchurch West Melton Zone Committee. And I just wonder whether it's a it's a waterways council thing. Like, so it might be both um, the zone committee and the council. I don't know, but but, but look, at, you've raised yeah. you know obviously some um, issues that we need to get to the bottom of. The zone but, committee would do the help with the willow removal. Yeah. I'm not sure about the weeds though. So Yeah, well this was dealing with the willow removal and the yeah. old man's beard. Yeah. Yeah. 
using the funding from Environment Canterbury's Immediate Steps Programme. Yep. That's what I'm just thinking there might be a crossover between Council and ECAN, but, but look, that's not to say that it's not entirely our responsibility. So um, we, we will get some advice from um, staff on it and uh, certainly uh, report back to you. Aaron? Yeah, so we can follow it up at community board level as well. And we've got a, um, a Groins user group meeting coming up within the month. And so we can raise it with the rangers and kind of get on top of it then. Will you be attending that meeting? I'm not aware of that meeting. Okay, I'll make sure an, an invite goes out to the Residents Association. Oh, well, so it's hosted by Arthur Adcock, normally yes. at... Um, uh, yeah, he's quoted in this article. So, uh, I mean, it does it does sound like that there's possibly a wider group of net well network that we could hook you into. Um, but you know, we, we will certainly um, respond in terms of the submission that you've made. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, Chairwoman, uh, that's all right. As, as recently as Relax. Thursday, we had an informal meeting with Parks and Rec, uh, which is where I got some of the detail as to who was responsible for right. what. Great. So it is going on. This is simply to bring it to a governance level that we need it's, money. It's fantastic that you have, and um, give my personal regards to Jane Cameron as well. Thank you. I know her quite well. <laughs> Thank you. Gem, it's our cleanest waterway. Sorry? It's a real gem, it's our cleanest waterway, the Otakakino. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. beautiful area. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.